Hi, this presentation is going to walk through the Webform Cards module. My name is Jacob Rockwitz. I'm known as J Rockwitz on the web. I am a Drupal developer and software architect. I built and maintain the Webform module for Drupal 8. What's the current problem with multi-step webforms? Some background, the Webform Cards module is meant to replace the Webform module's current implementation of multi-step forms. And the reason we're doing that is multi-step web forms are slow because each page request is validated and rebuilt by the server. It creates the current user experience for multi-step forms. Each page is posted to Drupal for validation. We send the data to Drupal. Drupal determines if the data is valid. If it's not, it throw, sends back an error, which requires the page to be re-rendered. Every individual page is built and rendered via server, server side via Drupal with validation or even when you're going back in next from one page to another. A single form page, a single page in multi-step form can take a half a second to render and sometimes on a big site it could take a full second. This adds up to be a lot of time. This is not to fill out the form, this is to literally click next. And if you have 30 steps, that could be 30 seconds. And users expect a fast and responsive user experience. Users should be able to flip through a multi-step form as fast as a carousel of images, going back and next and reviewing with no problem whatsoever. And that's why I'm introducing you to the Webform Cards module. So how do Webform Cards work? Well, the Webform Cards module moves form validation and pagination client-side using JavaScript. It sends, so the web form cards module sends the entire form to the web browser in the first page request. So when someone gets to this multi-step cards form, they get the entire form and it's stored in the browser's memory. And JavaScript is used for instantaneous pagination. So when you click back in next, it's not going to the server, it's rendering what's already there. And with each page as you move, it will validate the data using client-side validation. So it kind of comes down to what's required to get all this to happen, to use the Webform Cards module. Well, the Webform Cards module leverages core and contrib modules to improve a form's user experience. First off, the client-side validation module displays errors inline. Therefore, it makes sense to have the inline form errors module that's included in core enabled. To By the way, you can't do client-side validation for everything. Sometimes you will get a server-side validation error. So you want to have a similar user experience. And that's why the inline form errors module is enabled. The client-side validation module, which is a dedicated contrib module that uses the jQuery validate library. You install that and it just starts validating your inputs. If you ask for a date, it'll validate a date. If you ask for an email, It'll validate an email. There is a bridge module to kind of improve some little UX things with the Webform client side um, the client side validation module called the Webform client side validation module, and just fix little nuances that are Webform specific. And it's code that shouldn't be in the client side validation module. It's kind of an integration module that's included in the Webform module. And another module included with the Webform module as a sub module is the Webform cards module, and that's what enables all the behaviors. So what happens when you enable all these modules? Well, showing you is better than telling you. So I'm gonna do a little demo here. And this is a clean install. And what I wanna do is start with the current user experience for a wizard. So we're on a multi-step wizard. I'm gonna hit test, so I fill out the data. And you're gonna see Ajax kicking, you get the little spinning thing. This is fast because I am on a simple site. This slows down as you get to more and more complex sites. It's still taking a quarter of a second between each one of these pages to move back and next. So now I'm gonna just submit the record. So with the card module, one of the features is the ability to convert your existing wizard forms to cards. How that happens is once you enable the module and you go to the build tab, you have this little info message which you can close to ask you if you wanna convert it. Now if I click convert, it explains that this is an experimental module feature. So you make sure to test this on a staging environment. Um, explains to you what the cards are, which we're walking through. Um, this is worth noting even here. It Cards support auto-forwarding, which I'm gonna demo. Conditional logic, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on, but basically it works the same as you'd expect with wizard pages. Now I'm gonna do the conversion, and what it's doing is changing the element types. This was called wizard page, and now they're called cards. So let's go over to the test tab and just see how fat much faster it is. When I click next, instant, zipping through, 
For the preview, it does go back to the server to render the preview. This allows us to leverage all that backend logic with Twig. It makes perfect sense that when you get to a preview, you want to hit the server. You want to re-render everything. Now I can click Submit. Boom, and we're done. Now this is a good demo of converting an existing wizard form, but the, the concept behind cards is that you could break up each question into an individual page, which is just not possible using the current wizards because if you had 30 questions, you'd lose 30 seconds for someone clicking back and next, minimum. So with the examples module, if you turn on the webform cards module first and then turn on the webform examples module, you'll get a cards example. And if this is the same form we just talked about, but broken up into nine steps with auto forwarding. So if I enter my name and hit enter, I'm not hitting next. By the way, for UX, you want to always have this consistent buttons at the bottom, but there's nothing wrong with if someone hits next to move them forward. This allows them to also quickly page back and next if they want to review their information. If I use my mouse and I click on just buttons, it will jump us forward. If I enter in my email, my phone number, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to skip comments, and this is an example why you want the buttons. I'm going to just hit preview. We're there. And we could hit submit. That's how clean the UX is. There are a few quick features I just want to show you. Um, there's not much. By the way, this just leverages everything from wizard settings and converts them to cards. So whatever pagination, like if you want a progress bar, you'll have a progress bar. If you want to show just the number of pages of percentages, that's possible. Um, if you have a progress bar with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, counting out the pages, conditional logic will dynamically change as someone fills out the form and tell them exactly how many questions are left based on conditions, conditional logic. There's also this experimental feature, and it's really a pet peeve of mine, is I think this UX is great for someone who needs help filling out a form, but if I know the form and I just want to fill it out, just show me all the questions. This is a setting. It's off by default. You click show all, shows you all the questions. Click hide all, hides all the questions. And I'll throw out, I don't love the labeling, but I didn't really know, I didn't want to make any assumptions of what people are asking, but you can change the label. You could say show all questions, show all input, show all elements, hide all elements, or you don't need to use this feature at all. Um, that's pretty much the demo, and this is a good thing to just do some experimentation with. Um, I'm gonna move ahead a little. And when I did this, I, I said to myself, this is really powerful. And I, I was kind of smiling and be like, to infinity and beyond. It's a reference to Toy Story. And I'll show a picture of Toy Story in a second. And there's a well kind of. And I'm going to show a picture of Toy Story and explain the kind of. Well, Toy Story is a kid's movie about two toys getting along. And we have Woody the old toy who meets Buzz Lightyear. And they become friends and they work together. And the movie's really about like the old and new coming together to come overcome challenges. And I feel like Form API, which is an API that builds forms in Drupal, has been around for a very long time, like 16 years. And the current implementation is could be as almost a decade old. And showing its age, and we need to improve it. We need some help. And we're trying to experiment with things like React. And I feel like React and front-end frameworks are, are like Buzz Lightyear um, to kind of modernize us. And the well kind of is this reality is I am trying to modernize WebForms user experience by using a client-side validation module with really just some simple JavaScript to create a better UX. It's not really a front-end framework. It's not 100% modern. But at the end of the day, we want to get somewhere. And I mean, in the reference of the kind of to Buzz Lightyear, his wings don't work. He, he thinks his wings work. They don't actually work. Or his lasers. It's just a light bulb. Um, so really, this gets into some caveats about the WebForm Cards module. It's an experimental module. You got to take it for a spin, try it out. There's going to be issues. We'll work through them. I feel like client-side validation is going to be one of the bigger challenges, and it needs your help. If you find a bug, file it with that issue queue. Help the maintainer improve the module. I mean, I would like to make a call out here to any agency that's trying to help out with Drupal. I think this is an important one. This module is a way for us to improve the user experience in our current Drupal sites, it's not perfect, but client-side validation speeds things up. It reduces server load. It improves the UX. If we can just get that going, I think it can help with our sites. And it's, I think it's making a huge difference with the Web 4 module right now.
And ultimately, we do need to start talking about Form API. It needs to start leveraging modern front-end frameworks like React or Vue.js or need to be restructured so that it could be more headless. These are all important things we have to start thinking about. But right now, sorry about the background noise. It's funny, I live off a highway. Um, the, this is a big deal. The web form cards module, I think it opens up a whole variety of forms that wasn't available to us. And even with the client side validation, it just makes it cleaner, a better user experience. So who sponsored the web form cards module? Um, the web form cards module is sponsored by Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Doctors need to ask a lot of questions, especially to patients and breaking down these questions into single steps and a responsive form makes a big deal and difference to patients who are a little overwhelmed. It's just like walking them through the process. And you can sponsor a feature. You know, there's a dedicated blog post on my blog about, you know, how to sponsor a feature where you could create a ticket in the web form issue queue and we could work together to add new functionality to the web form module. You can learn more about me at jrockwoods.com and thank you for listening.